The Sussexes are back at it again. It seems like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just can't resist finding new ways to grab headlines. And this time, they've pulled off another classic display of self-promotion and drama. The stage for their latest spectacle? None other than Tyler Perry's lavish 55th birthday bash, hosted at his jaw-dropping $31 million mansion. A-list celebrities filled the party, from Oprah Winfrey to Gayle King, Alicia Keys, and many more. But even among Hollywood's elite, the Sussexes made sure they were the center of attention. According to the Daily Mail, Harry and Meghan arrived with all the theatrics you'd expect. Meghan was seen in the back of a sleek black Range Rover, grinning ear to ear as if she'd just hit the jackpot, flashing her sparkling diamond engagement ring and wedding band. Her hair was styled in a high-maintenance ponytail that screamed, Look at me! Meanwhile, Harry, dressed in a gray suit, seemed to want to blend into the background. But let's be real, he couldn't pull it off. The couple's arrival was like a master class in attention-seeking. Meghan struck an exaggerated pose with her hand near her face, while Harry held up his phone, apparently recording the entire scene for some future media play. It was a spectacle designed for the cameras. They claimed to hate paparazzi attention. But there they were, practically rolling out the red carpet for photographers. The couple's nonchalant attitude was undercut by their desperate need to be photographed. Inside, the party was exactly what you'd expect from Hollywood royalty. Music, dancing, and more stars than you could count. But amid all the glitz and glamour, Harry and Meghan made sure to inject their own brand of drama into the event. A source described the gathering as fun and lighthearted. But for the Sussexes, it was clearly another opportunity to remind everyone that they're still relevant. Even if it meant making a spectacle of themselves, they were determined to stay in the spotlight. As the night went on, the couple's antics continued. They left the event around 11 p.m., and of course their exit was just as orchestrated as their entrance. With a professional driver, security detail, and even an unknown friend in tow, they made sure that their departure was just as newsworthy as their arrival. It was timed perfectly, too, right before Harry's 40th birthday, and a day after Perry's big milestone. Talk about strategic planning. But what really stood out wasn't just their calculated moves. Megan's exaggerated laughter and grins were a transparent attempt to show the world that they're still living their best lives, despite the constant barrage of negative press and ongoing global humiliation. Meanwhile, Harry's discomfort was hard to miss. His misery was evident, especially in comparison to Megan's forced cheerfulness. It's clear that she was far more interested in being seen and soaking up the attention than in genuinely celebrating Perry's birthday. And let's not forget the glaring contradiction in their behavior. Harry and Meghan often complain about the invasive nature of the paparazzi, but when it suits them, they seem more than happy to call them in. In fact, Harry's decision to record the paparazzi at the event felt like another layer to their complicated narrative. Was this just another attempt to build up evidence for his ongoing security concerns? Or was it part of a new PR stunt to keep them in the news? Either way, it's hard to deny that their supposed privacy concerns are starting to look like yet another tool in their media arsenal. Their appearance at Tyler Perry's party is just the latest in a string of moves designed to keep themselves in the public eye. From Meghan's over-the-top grins and sparkling bling to Harry's desperate attempts to document the moment, it was all part of a calculated plan to remain relevant. But the more they try, the more obvious their desperation becomes. So, what do you think of Harry and Meghan's latest attention-seeking behavior? Are they trying too hard to stay in the spotlight, or do they still have a place in Hollywood's A-list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from FameFinder. Keep it locked here for all the latest on the Sussexes and more.